And guys, Charles Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers uh, Dollar Tree exclusive uh, limited edition 2 inch figurines. Here. Um, so yeah, here or there, there's you know just six of them. And so, yeah, it's basically what this is is that uh, uh, Hasbro released. Uh, back a few months ago, some they released four uh, keychains, Transformer keychains. I, uh, you know, and they had Optimus, Megatron, Bumblebee, and Soundwave. They still do have those, though. I only have Bumblebee and Megatron. Uh, so yet to find Optimus, Soundwave. Uh, but anyways, recently though they released these blind bags. Um, which they aren't because they tell you in the front. And they release these to, you know, be just little statuettes. They don't move, they don't do anything, they're just, they're just nice little decorations. So you can display, uh, you know, your desk nicely with transformers or shelves. So, yeah, that's what these are. And, you know, so they're packaging, which I don't have. Uh, and basically has the characters with a reversed uh, G1 box art. So basically, you know, you got your classic iconic uh, looks. Uh, like there was a way. And then they come with the same uh, Optimus. Like, uh, oh, collection card, you have this much. That I did keep, but I'm not sure where that is right now. But anyways, so here is all six. So we're going to look at. Uh, each one individually. So, first of all, we got Optimus here, and here yeah, sends about two inches tall. And for just a nice little comparison, here is uh, with a uh, siege countdown. As you can see, you know, they're a little smaller than that. And here he is with with Harold. So you could see him with the deluxe size transformer. So yeah, looks skills. Yeah, you definitely see how tiny he is there. So yeah. So pretty much uh for anything else, uh see your face sculpt. And you could definitely see a lot of uh chewing going on, a little splotches, but yeah, it looks very nice. <laughs> The, the pan back also you know. <laughs> oh but and that doesn't move really at all he's just a little statue and he's got for some reason his hands are like wide open so yeah that, that's kind of weird yeah okay on to the next one yay so next up um and Megatron, and again, very G1 inspired, and yeah, yeah, it looks nice, and uh, yeah, I do like the single like face sculpt, and yeah, and his legs are also painted black instead of uh, like a gray, like a mid gray, and yes, his hands, his hands are like pretty much all of them are the same. All, all the hands are the same for, you know, every figure, except for Grimlock, since he's in his dino mode. But, uh, yeah, there is Megatron. Yummy. So, also, here we have, uh, Bumblebee, and very June inspired. I do like the looks of these. They were, like, very accurate, uh, two-inch G1 statue ones. They're very nice. And, you know, they're at Dollar Tree, as I said earlier, so they're only dollar each row. So, yeah. Very, very awesome. As you can see, this goes all about logo. And, yeah, not much to say here, but paint works nice, so. Yeah. Area of Starscream. And, yeah, this one's probably my least favorite of the bunch. Um, you know, because he's missing just a few pain. I do like him from the back. He looks very G inspired here. A little nice metallic going on, so that kind of has a nice look. 
But from the front, I mean, he's missing paint on this, like, little helmet thing. You should have, like, a little black at the top. And that you should have, like, blue on his, this parts of, of his shins. So, yeah. I mean, other than that, he kind of nails everything else. But it's probably the weakest. At least as far as paint. But the nice sculpt. The sculpture here is very nice. So, yay. And then next up, uh, there's Soundwave. And, yeah, he's kind of missing some paint, but he looks nice. And his little, uh, shoulder, uh, turret here, cannon, is on his left side instead of his right side. So, yeah. <laughs> they, you know, fine enough, I think they're just looking at the box or reverse, you know, because the front, it has it like this. So... So yeah, it's a lot. It's kind of weird. It's like, oh yeah, totally going from the box art. So yeah, but well, it looks you know nice. Nonetheless, it's missing a few more paint somewhere. Star screen, but hey, he is a okay. Wow. And finally, here is Grimlock. This one is my favorite since uh, you know. He's like, you know, he got everything. You can see everything. He's, you know, as you can say before, uh, he doesn't have the same hands as everyone else, where it's just that open thing since he's in his dinosaur room. So I, I do like that. But anyways, here he is. And it's been a long time since uh got more G1 looking, like, very, very accurate uh, Grimlock. I know Power of the Primes existed, but he didn't, like, Look like this. <laughs> a big mechanical box dinosaur. No, but nonetheless, looks nice. And, you know, the details are nice. Definitely do like that. It, it just looks very, very nice. So, yeah, definitely my favorite here. Sure, yeah. Wow. So, there of the Transformers. Uh, Dollar Tree exclusive limited edition, um, two inch figurines. There's not really official name to call these things, but they're they're nice. Um, they have very Jew inspired. Do you love it? And actually, the little box that contains all these bags, like if you pick out the store, you know, and similar to like a like a Lego minifigure series bag. Oh, uh, you know, like you know where they're all in. This one box, it's like that. It's cool, it's on the left and right of it. You actually get the 1986 artwork, so that's nice for G1. But anyways, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share for more videos. Um, and also, uh, make sure you guys, uh, you know, comment down below what you think of the video. And bye.